For in the diagram on the right, the curve y squared is equal to 4 minus x and the straight line intersect at two points A and B. So we see here this one we have two lines. So this one is a straight one and this one is the curve one quadratic one. Find the coordinates of A, coordinates of B. So we know that we can find the coordinates, the intersection by doing simultaneous equation. So you see here you have y squared is equal to 4 minus x and you have y is equal to x minus 2. So to substitute, you see here you can substitute y here. So when you substitute y, we can remove our x or we can, or we can substitute x. Either one is okay. So if I substitute y, so this one is 1, this one is 2. So this one will become x minus 2 square is equal to 4 minus x. So this one is actually, when you square, you get x square. 2 times negative 2 times x, you get negative 4x. Plus 2 square is 4, is equal to 4 minus x. So you bring it one side, so 4 and 4 can be cut off. So you have x square minus 4x. And negative, when you bring it to the left, it will become positive x is equal to 0. So here x square minus 3x is equal to 0. So you can take out x, x minus 3 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0. See x is equal to 0. And then x minus 3 is equal to 0. x is equal to 3. Okay. So this is if I substitute y. So I just show you if I substitute x. So this one is supposed to be 3 and this one is obviously 0. Right? So okay, if I substitute x, this is also easy because here I just show you y squared is equal to 4 minus x, right? y squared is equal to 4 to minus x and this one is y is equal to x minus 2. So you want to substitute x inside here. So here you bring 2 to the left. You see here this one, what I'm doing here. So here just yeah, x minus 2. So x is equal to y plus 2. So now you can substitute x inside here. So y square is equal to 4 minus y plus 2. So y square is equal to, so this one is 4 minus y negative times 2 is negative 2. So you bring at one side y square. So negative y become plus y. 4 minus 2 is 2. We bring to the left become negative 2 is equal to 0. So this you can use calculator. So you see this one is negative 2. So two numbers which is positive and negative and this one is positive. So y plus 2, y minus 1 is equal to 0 or just use calculator. So y is equal to negative 2. You see here, y minus 2 is 0, y is equal to negative 2. Y minus 1 is 0, y is equal 1. So here, you can find x. And here, you can find your y. So you can do any, any of these and you can just substitute to get other value. So you see here, if I just use my x. When x is equal to 0, So I just use this one because this one is an easier equation. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 minus 2 which is equal to negative 2. So and here when x is equal to 3, y is equal to 3 minus 2 which is equal to 1. So you see here, same right. So this one is 0, negative 2 and this one is 3 and 1. Okay, now you get the point. So the coordinates of A is 0, negative 2 and coordinate of B is 3, 1. C, the generated volume in terms of pi when the enclosed shaded region by the curve, so we have two curves just now, rotated. Okay. Through the y axis, this is the keyword. So you need to know x axis or y axis. So it's from this axis. Okay. So how we want to calculate this is that we take the furthest one, the furthest graph, the volume of the furthest graph minus the volume of the closer one. Oh, this is one, one, this one is two. So that's mean the volume of one. Uh, so the volume of 1 from the axis minus the volume of 2 from the axis. Why? When we calculate the volume of y, we get everything right. 
So minus, when we get the volume from the axis to the second one, so we minus this area, now we get the shaded one. So further minus closer. So this is how we do it. Okay, so just now the formula is pi. So y axis is x square dy. So dy. So you have to know uh, what is your x or x square. So now the first one is this one, right? So y square is equal to 4 minus x. So x is equal to, so you just change place, right? So x is here, so we get 4 minus y square. This is the first one. And then we have the second one. y is equal to x minus 2. So x is equal to, so this one is y plus 2. So this is the second one. So the volume of the first one minus the volume of the second one. So in this case, it's actually like this. So don't forget from where to where on the y axis. So we can see it starts from here. So the point just now is 0, negative 2, right? And this one. So we stop until here. You see here, this one is uh, 3, 1. So we are going to calculate the volume from 0 to, from negative 2 to 1 on the y axis. So negative 2 to 1. So this one you see here, just put it as x1 and x2 just now. So this one is pi x1 square minus negative 2 to 1 pi x2 square. So you see here, the first, the volume of the first one minus the volume of the second one from the axis. So we see here, since this one is similar from where to where and the pi also, you can just directly combine pi. This one is x1 square minus x2 square. Don't forget your dy and this one is dy. Which is equal to negative 2 to 1 pi. So our x1, so just make it large this one. x1 is 4 minus y square. So this is x1, right? So we want x1 square. So we square it minus. So the second one is y plus 2 y plus 2, don't forget to square as well, you close back, it is the y. So here you see here square, so this one is a plus b, square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Okay, so you see here, this is what we do. A square first, 2 times B times A, and then B square. So this one is from negative 2 to 1. So you have pi here. So we see here pi is multiplied with everything. You can actually take it out because constant won't be affected. You can also put it inside, but then it will be hard for you to calculate because like you have to keep on calculating the pi later on. Okay, so it is outside. So now we see what we have here. So 4 square is 16. So 2 times negative y square times 4. 2 times it is negative 8y square, right? Negative 8y square. So this one. 2 times negative y square, you get negative 2y square. Times 4, you get negative 8y square. Okay, done. Right? Then don't forget the last one, b square. And then y square, you square again, you get y power of 4. Okay, done with the first one, right? Okay, this one. Minus, so here you have y, you get y square. And then 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times y is plus 4y, and then 2 square is actually 4, so don't forget this one. Okay, actually the outside one. Okay, then one. So pi. So this one is negative 2 to 1. So you have 16 minus 8y square plus y power of 4. So negative times y square, negative y square. Negative times 4y minus 4y. Negative times 4. You get minus 4. So dy. So dy.
which is equal to pi, so negative 2 to 1, so you have only 1 y4, okay, y4 is done, so you have 2 y2, right, negative 8 y2 minus y, y square, sorry, negative 8 y square minus y, so you get negative 9 y square, so you are done with square, and then you have, this one is what, negative 4, okay, so you have negative 4 y, and 16 minus 4 is actually plus 12 dy, right? So now you can integrate. So this one is equal to pi. So y4 will become y5 over 5 minus 9y square. So 9 is a constant. So y square will become y cubed over 3. You see at the power with 1 minus 4. Y is actually Y of 1, so 4 Y square <laughs> over 2 is there. So divided by 2 plus 12 Y. So this one is from negative 2 to 1. Which is equal to, so this one is 3, this one is 2. Now you can substitute. First you substitute your Y with 1. So this one you have pi, so you should have the large one here. So this one is 1, 5 over 5 minus, so this one is 3, y become 1 cube, right? So this one is what 2. So minus, this one is 2, 1 square plus 12, 1. So now you are done substituting with 1. Now we are going to substitute with negative 2. So minus, so y, negative 2, this one become negative 2 power of 5 divided by 5 minus 3, negative 2 power of 3 minus 2, y become negative 2 square plus 12, so y become negative 2, so just close it back. which is equal to pi, so this one is 1 over 5, minus 3, minus 2, plus 12, right? <laughs> okay. Minus negative 2 power of 5, so here you get negative 32 over 5, so this one is 3 times negative 2 cubed, you get negative 8, negative 8 times negative 3, you get plus 24. So this one, negative 2, negative 2 square is 4. Negative 2 times 4, you get negative 8. And then 12 times negative 2, you get negative 24. So just use your calculator and you are supposed to get... Thirty six over five minus negative seventy two over five. So here you will get by hundred eight over five, which is which is equal to hundred eight over five by units cube. 